Hi, I'm Ramya Vagis, uh, Assistant Professor from Department of Management. I would like to brush you through the uh, basics of human resource management today. Before we get into what is HRM, we want to know what is human resource. Human resource is all about the people who are working in an organization. When you are dealing with those human resource or and managing them, how you have to do your performance, how they are performing and evaluating all those things comes into managing the human resource. That's all together put in to measure the productivity of that particular company, which in turn results to the goals of that particular organizations. And that's why human resource management is very much important in any organizations to deal with human resource. So when it comes to human resource management, it's all about dealing with human resource, dealing with people. We want to know what are all the procedures which we encounter when we are managing the human resource management. There are about seven basic things wherein you have to concentrate on when you are dealing with human resource management. The first one is recruitment and selection. Recruitment. What is recruitment? Recruitment is all about hiring the people. The company has to have a job post which has to reach to the right audience or the right people who are looking out for the jobs. So how it can be done, how the recruitment policies, uh, I mean procedures can be done, you have to post the job into some various websites, digital platforms, interviews, walk-ins. There are so many methods wherein you could make sure that the companies or the organizations job post reaches the right candidate and make sure that these right candidates are applying in for your companies. And that's what is all about recruitment. And the next topic comes out is selections. The, the, the people has come into the recruitment procedures and the next thing is how you are going to select them. You have to make sure that you have a checklist what are all the candidates meets in in order to recruit them into the company, in order to select them into the company. The selection includes the interview procedures which includes the objectives or the objective types or a group discussions. You have so many various methods wherein you could select the candidates inside. And each and every company has their own selection procedures. Some says I'll go with the group discussions and I can pick in the people from there. But then some says that, you know, I need this quantitative test has to be done. And some says that in you know, an observation method is fine for me. So each and every organization has their own selection procedures. Yes, the company has done the recruitment right now and the selection procedure is also done. The organ I mean, into the organization, the new trainees has get in. The next procedure of this HRM is production management training. We have to train these people because they are all freshers and we have to take it inside and we have to train according to our job roles because people from the, uh, the theoretical background, people with the college backgrounds will have a completely different theoretical exposure wherein a practical exposure is much needed for the people. And every company has their own specifications when it comes to the work styles. So everything right from the organizational environment as well as the culture, the uh, kind of a task, their target procedures, their appraisal, everything has to be covered in for the trainees. And that's where it is the training program starts in. The company provides one month or three months, depends upon their, their own policies. They have their own training methodologies. They put into the trainees and they get trainings on job, off the job. You have so many variety of training methodologies and depends upon the companies, they provide on jobs, sometimes off the jobs. All these trainings are done. And once these trainees cross through these training procedures, they are into the right production floor. So when it comes to HR, the first thing is recruitment and selection, which is done once the uh, candidate gets into the, or recruited into the organization. The next comes the training program, wherein the employees, the new employees, the newbies are trained accordingly. Okay. And the next topics into HRM is learning and development. Learning and development comes in for the employees who are already part of the organizations who has to enhance himself in order to uh, bring in the best productivity inside him and also to grow himself into the upper level. And that's where the learning and development, it's a, what do you call, it's a continuous process for any employees 
he has to grow insults along with the companies and also to the grow up to the next level so every organization provides with this platform uh, we'll give an example where a company uh, in a company uh, employee joined as a junior executive after two years of his tenure in junior executive he himself will want to become a senior executive become from a junior executive to a senior executive he should go through a lots of procedures which is technically a policy related but as a human he has to enhance his skills in all, so that he could be able to uh, achieve most of the challenges what an executive senior executive will go through it in order to see himself through as a senior executive the junior executive should be given a platform where he can grow himself while being a junior executive so that's where learning and development comes in many organizations in this era are providing training sessions apart from their own work targets next topic in hrm is succession planning the company by itself will be doing this succession planning to be in a safer side when an employee quits an organization it should be replaced immediately in order to achieve this replacement on an immediate basis the company plans succession planning they make sure they the uh, pick up the people who are fit for this next positions they train them so that they'll have them in the buffer whenever there is a, a opening exist or someone resigns from the particular job these people are fit into this particular as a replacement and that's what is succession planning is and the next topic in hrm is compensation and benefits as we all know every company recruits an employee with the salaries packages but it, it's not that you know uh, every employees will be satisfied with the same package throughout their tenures so the company has to plan it they have to do some appraisal programs some bonus everything has to be arranged for these or uh, given for these employees in order to make sure that they are motivated and also they are uh, coping with the societies the living expenses everything so compensation and benefit is again a continuous process when it comes to hrm the company works on improving the salaries based on their uh, performances and based of the team's performances if the company is go growing up the bigger profits their profits will be given or cascaded to these employees so all these things comes under compensation and benefits when you get into deep into the compensation benefits we have so many programs which where uh, the organization make sure that the employees are monetarily benefited and monetarily motivated towards their companies so we all know it as a human being we all know it a person can be motivated with monetary as well as non monetary benefits but when we are in the lower level when it comes to the uh, income status when we are upgraded to some extent we become more loyal towards the organizations because it's improving our standard and that's where the compensation and benefits plays a major role when it comes to human resources next topic is hr information systems and hr data and analytics when it comes to hrm hr information systems hr information system is technically collecting all the informations right from the day an employee comes to an interview or candidate comes to an interview not necessarily the employee coming to an interview employee is one who joins the companies whereas every every organization saves the data of all the people who gets into the uh, recruitment procedures from the day one till the employees leave the organization all these informations are stored in a place and that's what is human resource information system why these informations are stored because you we can use these informations to retrieve any time whenever we need it to analyze a particular person's performance and also as a team's performance we can do anything with these informations when it is handy because we don't have to search it from somewhere if this is not shown we have to take the files we have to make sure whether it is there or not when you are making it manually uh, something may be missed but so that's why most of the organizations makes this information system into a digital in this digital area everything goes digital and in a clicks moment you'll be getting all this informations ready and these informations are needed 
so that we can compare the last year's performance with this, this year, we can calculate the uh, compensations, everything can be done with this information systems. And the next topic is analytics and the data, HR analytics and the data. Every department do their own analysis. Only when we do this analysis, we will be able to know where we stand. Without this analysis, we won't be able to know nothing about the comparison between the last year performance and the this year performance. And last year performance of a particular employee to this year performance of a particular employee. And the last year performance of a particular team. So everything comes in order to improve the productivity of the organizations. We will know when we have a given a target to an employee, when we didn't do this analysis part, we will not be aware of the top, I mean, aware of the thing, right? Whether that target which we have given to them is realistic or non-realistic. Whether he's able to achieve that or not. In order to analyze all those things, it ought to be, you know, informative about all those things, and analysis is must. And that's why HR does this. HR analyticals, data and analyticals. And these are all the seven basics of HRM. When we want to study about HRM, we will go through all these seven basics of HRM in detail, which will give us a enlightenment about what HRM is. HRM is completely a beautiful subject because handling people by itself is a beautiful thing. We see so much of emotions into it and we deal with psychology to some extent. Thank you for the day.